much as I love having a house full of boys, every once in a while, I like to have the girls over for a nice leisurely lunch. I'm starting off with avocado stuffed with a citrusy crab meat salad that's studded with bright bits of refreshing mango, a hint of lime zest, and jalapeno to tickle the tongue. This appetizer is light, elegant, and comes together in a snap. I'll follow that up with Spain's answer to the frittata, a savory Spanish tortilla filled with tender artichokes, creamy potatoes, and a buttery tetilla cheese. To balance this menu, I'm going to put together a quick yet amazing salad of crunchy jicama, creamy black beans, and more gloriously sweet mango. The girls are picking up some sparkling wine and we're going to have ourselves a lunch to remember. Let's roll up our sleeves and get started. I have a potato here that I'm dicing and we're gonna use that in our frittata, our tortilla. Here in the United States, the term tortilla conjures images of the flat Mexican cornbread that's great with salsa and chips. Well, we make chips out of the tortillas, right? In Spain, the term tortilla means more uh, this egg dish with different vegetables. The classic Spanish tortilla is just uh, onions and potatoes. We're gonna have some fun with that today. And dress it up a little bit more. I'm gonna put these potatoes on to boil, bring them to boil, drain them, and then let them air dry because I don't want a lot of water. I'm not gonna fully cook all of that potato. We'll finish that up when we set up our frittata. In the meantime, I want you to get acquainted with my mango salad. This is like a lot of fun. I have a mango. I'm gonna grab that lime because we're gonna make a nice little dressing. And I'm going to use a sweet bell pepper, an onion that I'm gonna use for the crab salad and our black bean mango salad, okay? And a little, a little heat. And I'm gonna grab some cilantro over here. I'm gonna grab my zester. And citrus zest is one of those things that I love. I always have limes and lemons, even grapefruits and oranges in the kitchen because a little shake of lime zest or orange zest really makes a dish sing. I love that. Okay, so a little lime zest. I'm gonna roll my lime. And we're gonna start out with juice for my dressing. Later on, after I taste, if it needs to be tweaked and I need a little more acid in my dressing, that's not a problem for me. Okay. These simple citronette dressings I love for summer entertaining. I just think that it just it adds a beautiful floral note in addition to the acid that we love in a, in a vinaigrette. I have some cilantro. And listen, I heard all about that organization that doesn't like cilantro. Don't sign me up for that one, honey, because I rub the cilantro behind my ears. I'm all about the cilantro. So uh, no props for y'all, all right? And we'll give it a rough chop. Get my little whisk, and we're gonna whisk in some nice, fresh virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I hear they call that uh, EVOO around these parts. I don't know, maybe a rumor, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm gonna season that with a little salt and pepper. And you're gonna wanna know, avocado drinks salt, so you really wanna make this uh, vinaigrette pop. Okay, and we want some fresh black pepper. And then I'm going to taste this, because you can't go anywhere if you don't taste, right? That's gorgeous. It's sharp, it's got a great acid note, great salt. Let's set this over here. And I'm going to dice a mango and a red onion. We're gonna split that, half for the mango, um, black bean salad and half for our crab salad. And to the crab salad, I'm gonna add some beautiful sweet red bell pepper and my poison of choice for today, a half a jalapeno. Let's get to that. Well, I already used half a jalapeno, but I did leave the seeds and the ribs in because I don't want the girls to be overwhelmed by the heat, but I like a little bite. 
Okay, so we have mango, red onion, jalapeno, and sweet red pepper. Now for the star of the show. I'm going to get some fabulous lump crab meat that I bought in my big box warehouse. And I'm gonna pick up my Sedano ham and my artichoke hearts because we're going to start building our uh, tortilla in a few minutes. All right, look how gorgeous that crab meat is. Big lumps of sweet crab, love that. Okay, so I have my crab meat, I have my fabulous lime cilantro dressing that I made. We're gonna give that a little toss. Oh, that looks so festive already, don't you think? And a little taste, because it doesn't count if you don't taste. Mm, I need a little more salt. Okay? Wouldn't it look pretty? And I'm just gonna put this over here and let those flavors get to know each other a little better. In the meantime, I'm gonna preheat my pan, clean up a little bit, and I'm going to start these gorgeous artichoke hearts. These are frozen, and I'm going to put them in a nice hot pan, and we're going to come back and rock the heck out of this frittata. Paula Dean knows what Southern hospitality is all about. It's welcoming family and friends in the kitchen and turning old favorites into something new. Enjoy these ideas from my kitchen to yours. Paula's Best Dishes. The new season premieres this morning at 1130 on Food Network. When the light comes on, just come in. Pep Boys. This week, it's the Pep Boys Coast to Coast Tire Event. Buy one tire for as low as $24.99. Buy any two tires, get a free oil change. Buy any three tires and get the fourth tire free. Through Sunday, get a Kestrel GTX do-it-yourself oil change. Just $10.99. When the light comes on, just come in. Pep Boys does everything for less. Call 1-800-PEP-BOYS or visit PepBoys.com. Little bear. I got your toothpaste. Or gel train toothpaste. <laughs> Very good. Mommy thinks so too. Or gel's safe to swallow, fluoride free, and has great flavors. Mm, some. Or gel, <laughs> what moms want and kids love. Which cheese slices do you prefer? One that has to be called pasteurized processed cheese product? Or one that can actually be called natural cheese? Here at Sargento, we believe your sandwiches, burgers, and panini deserve the very best. That's why our family's deli-style slices are never processed and always made with natural ingredients for a taste that's authentically delicious. Sargento, for snickety people, exceptional cheese. Duff calls on the troops. We're making a Stormtrooper helmet. Star Wars cakes we never get tired of. This cake is huge. Would the Force be with them? It's an impressive cake. It was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Ace of Cakes. All new episode Thursday night at 10 on Food Network Nighttime. For an instant bond that stays strong. I mean crazy strong. It's got to be crazy glue. Crazy strong, crazy fast, crazy glue. That ball is going, going, gone! Home run! He's sweet. Even with one-third less sugar than soda. Kool-Aid, delivering more smiles per gallon. Stop throwing your hard-earned cash in the trash. The all-new Food Saver vacuum packaging system with Smart Seal technology can save you over $600 a year. Don't waste food with ordinary zipper bags and plastic wrap. The Food Saver system takes air out and keeps it out, eliminating freezer burn. You can buy in economical bulk sizes, knowing the extras stay fresh up to five times longer. With its new upright design and hands-free operation, it has never been easier to keep your food fresh. The Food Saver system, available wherever small kitchen appliances are sold. This is Food Network in the Kitchen. Okay, I have my crab mango salad in the refrigerator, finishing up her little siesta. And I've just finished fine chopping some shallots for my frittata over here. And to this, I'm going to add some thyme. Now, thyme isn't an herb that's found commonly in the cuisine of countries that speak Spanish. However, Spanish chefs love thyme. And I don't think that's too far a leap because uh, it's a Mediterranean country and uh, France and Italy love thyme. So it's an easy jump. 
and usually, you know, I have Angela in the kitchen to help me with herb duty, but she's upstairs setting her hair because if she hears that the girls are coming over and we're having company, oh my goodness, 14 going on 25. God love her. Okay, so I have my thyme. When you add this to the pan, it's gonna fill the entire kitchen with this beautiful herbal note. I'm just gonna give that a rough little chop. Okay. And set that over here with my shallots. In the meantime, remember my potatoes that we had boiling? Well, I only partially cooked them because I'm gonna add them to this pan with these gorgeous golden brown artichoke hearts. And the reason why I didn't cook them all the way through is because I don't want these disintegrating and turning too much. I want nice bites of potato in my tortilla. So I'm gonna add the potatoes. I'm gonna add the shallots and the thyme. Isn't that fab? Okay, and you know what? This looks a little dry, so I'm gonna make it a little happy. Just give it a little drizzle of olive oil. And we're gonna toss this and lower the heat because I want them to heat through and finish cooking, but I don't want them falling apart. Ooh. Honey, it's smelling like something in here right about now. Come on over with me to the pantry because I wanna get a can of black beans and some cider vinegar for the dressing for our salad. And while we're in the neighborhood, let's stop by and pick up Mr. Hickama over here. I don't know, are you familiar with Hickama? I love it. Okay, so I have my Hickama, and Hickama is very common in the cuisine of Mexico. It's got a nice, thin little skin. Can you see that? And it should be firm. The flesh of Hickama is crunchy, starchy, delicately sweet. Uh, if you can't find jicama, uh, try. I mean, you can find jicama almost anywhere. But um, you can substitute like a green apple for it. You know what the inside reminds me of? Like a daikon radish, only without the piquancy of a radish. It's got a nice, soft sweetness, really nice. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up this jicama for our black bean salad. So our jicama is all done. And now what I'm going to do is, we have a can of black beans. I know, Ma, don't look. Um, and I'm gonna open the can of black beans, but you know black beans come in this goopy, oopy, uh, kind of syrupy thing that I don't want gunking up my salad. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these over here to the sink, and we're gonna give them a little rinse. Just get rid of the goop. And we'll drain them in the colander and give them a little rinse. So they're nice and bright and shiny for my salad. Just shake off the excess water. Okay, and we'll take this back over here. Look how gorgeous that looks. I love that. The girls are absolutely gonna flip when they see that. And you know, they love to come over to eat my girlfriends, but they never invite me to their house because, well, they're cheap. No, really, <laughs> that's not true. They, they say they're intimidated, you know? But um, hey, invite me, I'll bring dessert. How about that, it's a deal. Let's make our dressing. I have a little bit of cilantro. We're gonna chop up some cilantro, that herb of choice. I'm gonna give it a little fine chop. And this time around, we're gonna use some cider vinegar to play with our acid a little bit, our acid notes. We're gonna scoop that right into the bowl. I have my pretty olive oil. And I'm the girl, people say, what do you want for Christmas or your birthday? Olive oil, vinegar, you know, the good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit of cider vinegar and some salt and pepper, honey, because you have to season your dressing, okay? And those beans really absorb a lot of dressing, so you wanna make sure that it's not shy, okay? There we go. I'm gonna give this a little stir. And mucho gusto, here you go. Beans meet the dressing. Now watch the colors, and these are glorious. Isn't that pretty? Okay, terrific. Now, while this salad is uh, laying on the side here, saying there, how do you do's, I'm going to open up my ham for the frittata, and when we come back, we're gonna bang some eggs out of the house.
You know her as the winner of the next Food Network star. I am so excited to get cooking. Now get to know how she makes dinners for under $10. Melissa D. Arabian's $10 Dinners premieres tomorrow at 1230 on Food Network in the Kitchen. This is Oliver, one of the four million dogs that end up in shelters each year. When you buy Pedigree, we make a donation to help dogs like Oliver find loving homes. Do you want to peel and slice vegetables in an instant? Then you need the Titan Peeler, the incredible multi-purpose tool that makes peeling and slicing a breeze. What I'd like to show you is this incredible little peeler. It's got a microblade technology. I'm going to show you on a potato. It only takes the finest amount of peel off whatever you're peeling. If you want to do potato crust with this, it's absolutely fantastic. Tear-free peeling of onions. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen a peeler that'll do that? No. no. You can do carrots. It's a twin-action blade. Either way, either direction. It's designed to give you grip not slip. You know how difficult these are to slice in the kitchen with a knife? Pull it towards you, it only takes a second to get perfect cheese slices. Parmesan, you know, for salads, stir fry, it's fantastic, isn't it? Now this one's a julienne cutter, it's 12 blades there that work simultaneously. And ladies and gentlemen, you eat with your eyes first, don't you? And then your mouth, yes? Can you see how interesting and exciting the salads are? This little number here turns it into a mini mandolin slicer. Instead of taking the blade to the vegetable, you take the vegetable to the blade. You do carrots, the nice thing is they're all the same thickness, they'll all cook in the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, I've only scratched the surface, these are amongst a few of the jobs that this will do. Call now and you can get the entire Titan Peeler system, a $30 value for only $14.99. But wait, you'll also receive this step-by-step -step garnishing guide with tips and tricks to help you use your Titan to garnish fruits and vegetables like a pro at home. Best of all, the Titan Peeler is dishwasher safe. The Titan Peeler is made from 100% stainless steel, so it will never break or dull. That's why we're offering a lifetime warranty on the blades. But wait, if you order now, we'll double your offer. You'll get a second Titan Peeler system free. Just pay shipping and handling. That's two Titan Peelers, two Julienne Cutters, two Slicing Boards, and two Garnishing Guides. A $60 value, all for only $14.99. Order now. To order your Titan Peeler, call 1-800-915-9821. Call right now and we'll double the offer. Just pay shipping and handling. Call 1-800-915-9821 or visit us online at titanpeeler.com. Good night. Every week at Pathmark, we lower prices on thousands of items all over the store. We lower prices on so many items, even we're not sure how we get it all done. This week, get all family packs of ground beef 50% off. Stouffer's Lean Cuisine Entrees, $1.98. Pathmark, save all over the place. Time Warner Cable Business Class knows how important it is to get communication solutions from people who focus on your business. That's why we put you first, then follow with tailored internet, phone, and cable TV solutions. So you can focus on being more productive while staying in budget. That's the advantage of Time Warner Cable Business Class. Where you come first, the technology follows. Call now for your free evaluation of your present services at 1-866-TWC-4BIZ. Okay, so crab meat salad in the refrigerator, check. Black bean salad, hold up over here, check. Let's rock this frittata. I have 12 extra large eggs, and I'm going to give these a little whip. Break up our yolks a little bit. The ham is looking absolutely perfect in our skillet here. And I really want to incorporate those yolks. If you can't find Serrano ham, Italian prosciutto ham is a nice substitute, but if you get the opportunity to get it, I would beg you to do just that. This is gonna be amazing. What I love about frittatas, about tortillas, is that um, you can make it ahead of time. So room temperature, it's absolutely fabulous. Okay, let's move over here, and I'm going to clean out my pan. Uh, I have this beautiful serrano ham with the potatoes and the artichoke hearts. And I'm just going to remove that to um, a dish over here because I want to clean out that pan and build our tortilla. Mmm, that smells like a million dollars. And look how pretty and pink that ham. Serrano ham is salted and air-cured for about mm, 6 to 18 months. 
so good, in fact. That piece has my name on it. Mm, that is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and just wipe out the bottom of the pan with some paper towels. That's a nice hot pan. All right. Now, just gonna work the heat up a little bit and I have some butter. I like to use sweet unsalted butter. If you'd like to use uh, salted butter, don't call the butter police on me. This is a personal preference. And I'm going to scoop out two tablespoons and I want that butter to be nice and foamy. And we're gonna tilt and cover the pan so that it's nice and coated all over. Watch this. I'm gonna add my eggs now. Okay. What I wanna do is I want to work medium high heat. I want the eggs to set up on the bottom. And then I wanna coax them away from the sides where they're raw into the center where they're cooked. So we'll give them a second. Once I see they're starting to coagulate and get nice and uh, almost like jellified. This is gonna be amazing. The tortilla de endo tortillas. La madre de las tortillas. So they're nice and set, you can see, but they're still a little wet up on top, which is exactly what I want. I want to take all of my goodies, my fixins, my artichoke hearts, my serrano ham, my potato, and we're going to set that up on top, spread it around evenly, and then the last layer of delicious flavor that we're going to add to our tortilla is one of my favorite Spanish cheeses, queso tetilla, which kind of reminds me of a Hershey's Kiss. Okay. Um, this is really fabulous cheese. It's creamy and buttery and just, oh, it's, it's like heaven on a plate. Look how gorgeous that is. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna shred some. We'll place it on top of our tortilla and then we're gonna run it under the broiler. Yummy. Okay, so when I get back, I'm gonna plate all of these beautiful salads, my fabulous tortilla, and then I'm gonna have to go clean up because I can't have Angela looking better than me. Are you looking to jazz up a snazzy meal at the last minute? I'm shaking up that old dinner into something brand new. Perfect in under half an hour. 30 Minute Meals, coming up next on Food Network. Yes. There for you when you're in a tight spot. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. What's that smell? Take control of trash odors with Glad Odor Shield. Special technology embedded in the whole bag neutralizes odors. Your kitchen stays fresh. Glad Odor Shield. What smell? Now available in lemon scent. Welcome to a command performance. Act one, the beautiful wall and the stylish command metal hook meet. Act two, the bond between them is strong. It holds. Act three, they must say farewell. It's a clean split, no damage. Stylish Command Metal Hooks, part of a whole cast of products from 3M. Starkest Tuna Creations in the Flavor Fresh Pouch turns regular tuna into a flavor explosion. With six gourmet tasting flavors like lemon pepper, urban garlic, and sweet and spicy tuna, 
You can turn any meal into a Starkist tuna creation, from zesty wraps to savory pasta dishes. And they're low in fat, full of healthy omega-3s, and have as little as 60 calories per serving. Starkist tuna creations in this super flavor-fresh pouch. Tuna like you've never tasted before. A lot of people are going to be kicking themselves for not buying in this market. Visit Remax.com where you can see all the listings in thousands of cities and towns. Where do you want to be? When you think about all you can do in an all-wheel drive Subaru, you'll find there's a lot to love. That's why we created the Subaru A Lot to Love event, where you can get a great deal on any new 2009 Subaru and see there really is a lot to love. Hurry in and lease a 2009 Impreza for $179 per month, now through August 31st. This month, tag along with Guy on all new adventures. I want to call Funkalicious. What do you think? Loving it. Who wants a bite of that? Dig it. <laughs> Talk about diversified. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. All new episode Monday night at 10 on Food Network Nighttime. Ah, uh, when it's good, <laughs> it is good. That is absolutely bubbly and brown and gorgeous and delicious. And I hope the girls really appreciate this. I'm gonna set that there just to rest for a couple of seconds. And in the meantime, I'm gonna finish up my avocado salad. Now I have a little trick when I serve this salad. We dress the avocado with a little lime, right? This prevents it turning color. I want a nice, bright, pretty avocado. I just take a sliver off the back end like this. Then my avocado sits nice and flat on my platter. I don't have to worry about it, you know, wobbling like a weeble or anything like that. Okay? Look how great that is. And I have my crab salad with beautiful sweet red peppers and red onion and lime and cilantro and all those good flavors, the sweetness of the mango. This looks like a party. This doesn't look like the most festive thing you've ever seen in your life. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And I have one left to go. These are wonderful, absolutely wonderful colors. The white looks pristine. The mango just plays so beautifully against the red peppers. And you know what? There's a little piece here that got away. I better taste that. Mmm, perfect. I like the taste. And see where those flavors went. It is absolutely beautiful. Then I have my bean salad over here. And I want to give this a little toss. And this is also miraculous, great protein and wonderful flavors. I got the crunch of the jicama going on. Look how great this looks. I am loving this, but you know what I wanna do? I wanna taste those beans, because remember I told you that beans have a way of drinking salt? Hmm, I'm glad I did that. Okay, I want a little more pepper. Pinch more salt. Wonderful. And then, for the piece de resistance, I have a nice rubber spatula, my towel, and I'm going to work the frittata onto this gorgeous platter. The beautiful creamy potatoes, the salty sweet serrano ham, the eggs, the artichoke hearts, Okay, here we go. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Houston, we have landed. I'm gonna bring this puppy over here. I'm gonna sneak a little sliver. Nobody will know. My mouth is watering. And I'm gonna taste. Whoops. Mmm. Butter and the cheese, salty, sweet ham, the brine of the artichokes. I made these recipes for my friends, but you can make them for your family. And you can find these recipes at foodnetwork.com. Like they say where I'm from, buen provecho. Mmm.